Good morning. This is Reverend Pam Gagan from the Center for Spiritual Living, Pleasant Valley in Camarillo, California. And it's good to be with you on New Year's Day 2021. And what did I just hear is, thank God for 2021, 2020 is done. So we're open and receptive to her for a whole new experience, 365 new days of uh, birthing uh, who we are and not birthing who, yeah, birthing who we are, revealing who we are. Uh, in this this un uh, this unadulterated un, 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 un state of our perfection of the soul that we came in to be, and remember that we are one with the divine. And so, on this New Year's Day, instead of um, doing intentions, although I think intentions are very good, I think it's a wonderful day just to sit with what is sit with the what is and to decide um, uh, just to be with the own self and discover that great beyond within. Because uh, although I think I believe very much in affirmations and attentions, there is so much more to um, kissing the ground, as I say, where you're at right now. Uh, and there's a, because there's a thousand ways to listen to yourself and know that you were already home, like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. Um, you were always able to go home, and home is where we are. So as we begin this, and we keep opening up to the truth of who we are in this year, it's about letting go of all the distractions around us, letting go of which is not you, and embracing the truth of your being, and that is knowing who you are, and who you are is the God self, and the perfection of who you are comes from the heart of the true self, the divine love within. It is again, as I say, the rock upon which we all stand. Holy ground is wherever we stand, because we are there, and we bring our great energy with it, and yet many times we turn to God only when we're in need, when we're desperate for change. And yet, this is the most perfect time to embrace your divine right inheritance and to turn within to the times that there are knowing that, that God, the God Self, the divine energy within you never leaves us. And the mystics knew all this. They shared the secrets of the universe long before the first physicist ever was documented, which was Isaac Newton. They knew that there was a oneness within all of us and that no matter what the world um, uh, appears to us, we are part of that. Every cell is a cell and a cell and a cell and a cell, and we are all connected in this web of life. So I would like to do uh, 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 an, a New Year's mantra with you, and I'll tell you what that is in just a moment. But first, just let's relax in. Just, just relax in knowing God is, I am, and beyond all appearances, that there is something greater unfolding. And if we had not done everything we did this last year and gone through everything we went through this last year, we would not have the fertile soil that is within us right now for this new birth, this new beginning, this new uh, understanding that moment by moment by moment in our mindfulness that we are the thing itself. We are that divine spirit and that it is our job to go beyond the challenges and distractions outside and in this new year just to remain in the heart, in the heart where it all happens. It is the passion of the heart. Love points the way and the law makes the way possible. But it is the love and understanding within the heart that is the most important. And that love and understanding comes from recognizing and knowing the God self within you and the God self within every other living thing. And that's what the namaste is about. The self, the God within me, recognizes the God and the spirit divine within you. And without that knowing, you wouldn't know that you were the divine. So not only are you the reflection of the perfection and the light unto the world, but all that you need are those lights in your life. And so when we honor the self, we are honoring all of life. So today, we're just going to do a mantra into the heart space. As soon as I said, we relax in. So let us just take those three breaths to begin with. And I use God. 
God is synonymous with love for me. You can use Krishna, Buddha, Baha'u'llah, Alawim, Alawa, Moses, Mohammed. The thing itself, divine spirit, whatever it is, it is that energetic presence that lies within each and every one of us from the top to the bottom, to the left, to the right, to the east, to the, the west, to the north, to the south, to all around us. We are uh, surrounded by this. And as much as we open up to it, it opens up and flows in and through and as us. So let us take our energy wands and just feel that wonderful light source coming from heaven above, soaking all the way down, 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 down to the crown, relaxing the bacon brow, as I say, opening the third eye, the intuition, going down and relaxing the jaw, and then going down and relaxing the throat. Feel that energy in you as you come alive, relaxing the shoulders, and just let your shoulders drop at this point. Just relaxing in and your head falls forward, that's even better. Just relaxing in, in the greatness of who you are. That divine spark. And so now let that energy go down over the across the upper arms, down the shoulders, upper arms, down to the elbows, down to the forearms, out the wrists, and out the fingertips. And see it just Just vibrating out your fingers. Sit down and sit down and right back up the fingertips, up the hands, the wrists, the lower arms, the elbows, up to the upper arms, and then coming right back down and surrounding your chest and seeing that beautiful lotus in the middle of the, the center of your heart as it opens. It's what I see there all the time, and a deity sits there. Look. Just call in whoever you would like, Jesus, Moses, Muhammad, the thing itself. God, someone from the heaven world that wants to talk to you and communicate with you. Call in that energy, knowing that this is the year that, that I cherish, this 2020, as we say goodbye to it, for it deepened my experience opened my heart more, gave me more compassion, didn't give me anything. I opened up to more compassion. It was always there. I opened up and I was awake, aware, alert in my spirituality. I deepened and dug deeper to bring my gift to this planet more than ever before into the great beyond within, into that perfection of the soul that is incorruptible and indefatigable never tires. And as I open up to it, for it is with me throughout eternity, I know intuitively all of the mysticism, all of the knowingness, all of that which I don't think I know, when I am ready, opens up to me. And so now we go from the heart to the solar plexus, to the sacral chakra, to the root chakra, Surrounding the back, vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae, just relaxing in and going down the hips, relaxing the hips, the thighs, even knees, down the calves. Going down the ankles and the feet and grounding as we are here our body temple is the greatest learning experience. That is why we have chosen this earth planet and our mother to learn so much. And how we learn it is from matching her physicality in this third dimension and that density. 
So as we are operating in the third dimension in our body suit, we are also operating in the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh dimensions and beyond, depending upon your awakening and where you are. And the fourth dimension is that intuitive dimension. And in the silent, in the silent silence, we have been so connected that all you have to do is even think of someone in this time period and they call or you connect with them instantly in your heart. So now let's take that energy that's grounded in the earth and it can be connected, that wonderful tube of light to a tree root, have someone holding it, whatever. But it grounds us into the experience of beingness. And let's just breathe in that light all the way up with God is on the in-breath and on the out-breath, I am. And two more silently. So in this moment, my mantra is, and it'll be permeated and uh, by the Om. And it is simple mindfulness mantra that clears your mind and takes you into the deep beyond within to begin this new year and embracing your soul and bringing joy, peace, love, and awareness. So I'm going to start with an OM and you can just listen or do the OMs with me. Repeat the mantra, which is, I am joy, peace, love, and awareness. Om. I am joy, peace, love, and awareness. Om. And I'll be doing it in three, three times in between the ohms. And I will put in the Koshi bells. So you just relax in. And I'll start with a bell and end with a bell in this wonderful new year, setting my intention just to be aware and embrace that which is mine that lies within and without. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Home. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am.
joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Oh. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Joy, peace, love, and awareness. I am. Joy, peace, love and awareness I am Om. now let us come back as we embrace this new year
and you may still be hearing the chant within you and that is good. And as we begin this new year, As I stay in the I am, please personalize these words. I keep opening up to the truth of who I am. I am letting go of distractions, letting go of that which is no longer me, and embracing my truth of being that knows who I am, the self that is the God self. And most importantly, I am embracing the perfection of who I am. And that perfection comes from the passion of the heart, of the true self, the divine love within. It is the rock upon which I stand. And as I recognize and experience outer life, I am aware it is only temporary. The only truth of real beingness and groundedness is knowing that all of life is God. And I am claiming my divine right inheritance this year and all the years and turning inward for God never leaves me. And I leave you with two roomy quotes I know not how I may appear to the world, but to myself, in my evolutionary process, I seem to have been only a boy playing on the seashore and diverting myself in now and then finding a smoother pebble or a prettier shell than an ordinary one while the great ocean of truth lay all undiscovered before me. And I am the very center of my heart. And that's where life begins. And that is the most beautiful place on earth. For everything in the universe is within me. And I am asking all of myself that is my God self, to reveal itself in its highest good for self and all. And as I leave you today, I say a prayer for everyone out there needing a prayer today. And if there's a way you can support them on the phone or any way else, wish them a happy new year. And knowing 2021 is going to be fun and 2020 is done. And as we say, peace out and namaste. And my prayers are with each and every one of you. My heart is with each and every one of you. For how could it be any different? Because we are one in this web of life. And whatever I do to one, myself, I do to all. See you tonight watching Reverend Lynn with Insight, Hindsight, and Foresight, a wonderful talk at 7 p.m. to start our New Year's Eve day. Not our New Year's Eve, our New Year's Day in the evening. See you on Monday and also see you on Sunday with Reverend Sue when we're doing BYOB, Bring Your Own Beginning. Ah, oh, Peace out knowing this is the year that we deepen even more, given all that we have gone through 
and all of it is unfolding in greater ways as that spiral widens with our awareness. And so it is. God is the presence and the power. 